Welcome to the DraftLogic Electrical Quick Overview. I'm Dean Whitford, Chief Executive Officer of DraftLogic Inc. Here we have the architectural base plan for school. Let's run the automated placement process. Automated placement will go to the room library record for each room. Get the settings for the lights and receptacles for each space. and Execute those settings quickly putting in all of our lights and receptacles. In about two and a half minutes, all 73 rooms had lights and receptacles placed. Where there were identifiable architectural or equipment features, like copiers or shredders for example, services were placed specifically for them. If you want to massage the automated placement, there's some quick tools to move things around that automatically snap and rotate to walls if it's a wall mounted device or to a t-bar cell if it's a t-bar mounted device. We also have robust tool pallets with many devices on them that also follow the automatic snap and rotating. Once we've finished placing our devices we're ready to perform circuiting. You instruct DraftLogic Electrical on how you want the automated circuiting to happen by setting up service areas. Service areas can be one of five types. Mixed, where lights and receptacles and small motors will go on the same panel if they're of compatible voltage. Segregated, where they will be directed to separate panels regardless of whether they're compatible voltage or not. Lighting only will go to a lighting panel. Other only will go to a receptacle and small motor panel. And emergency will direct all emergency devices out of the area to their own panels. Now I can run automated circuiting. DraftLogic Electrical will seek out all the devices in all the service areas and put down appropriate panels for them. As I've selected all panel room type service areas, you can also put your own panels down and set up panel type service areas where DraftLogic Electrical will only use the panels that you have put down. So in barely over two minutes, DraftLogic Electrical has circuited the entire school for us. You can see we now have branch circuit panels F through I in our 123 mechanical room, D and C in my 192 electrical room, A and E in this storage room, and panel B in 176 workroom. Automated circuiting also circuits motors in compliance with your request whether to service them at the MDP, the MCC, or branch circuit panel based on their size. The protection is selected based on CEC and NEC standards. And the feeder will get automatically selected later when we run any report that depends on it, like panel schedules or the single line diagram. Heaters, too, are automatically circuited. Once circuiting is complete, we're ready to run the completely automated branch circuit wiring. So in less than a minute, we have our branch circuit wiring all drawn, including interconnections between members of each home run group, the home run text blocks, the home run arrows. DraftLogic Electrical examined all of the circuits that you selected for action, grouped them into home run groups where it made the best design sense to do so, interconnected all of the members of each home run group using either conduit and wire, or non-metallic dry cable or metallic cable as you chose in your project parameters. Here we can see the lighting system. Whips have been drawn to junction boxes for fluorescence and T-bar. Junction boxes have been interconnected. Home runs have been drawn. Here's the power system. And finally motors and heaters. Now that our design is complete, we can run a full swath of reports for delivery to the client. The DraftLogic Electrical Report Wizard makes this easy as a couple clicks. In only minutes, we have a full swath of reports generated, including a bill of materials with conduit and wiring, system materials, summaries of our panels and the protection on them, including the interrupting current calculated at that panel 
and the interrupting current requirements of each type of protection on that panel. Summaries of panels and transformers and a summary of the total protection for the job. Floor plans have been cut up based on lines that we decided on for each system. We just have to add our title block and these are ready to go. We can of course reorganize our schedules around these floor plans if we want to print large sheets that include the floor plans and the schedules. A kitchen schedule if we had any kitchen devices in the project. A portrait legend of symbols showing only the blocks that were used in this project. Landscape style legend of symbols. A luminaire catalog that shows a picture and some information about each luminaire used on the job. Any of these reports can be produced to any size sheet we want. So for example we could produce our floor plans onto e-size sheets whereas our luminaire catalog and panel schedules we might want to produce to 8.5 by 14 or 8.5 by 11 size sheets. Here we have a luminaire schedule where we have a type code that ties into the type code in the luminaire catalog and on the floor plan and all the information about the luminaires used along with a total quantity for each type. Our panel schedules tell us what type of panel we're looking at, its name, detail on each circuit including what type it is with a single letter code, the location of the circuit or if it's a large motor, the identifier of the large motor, the device count on the circuit, total watts, the protection average, number of poles, and whether it's A, B, or C phased. In the lower section we have phase load totals, we have wattage loads by system with demand factors applied, and then we calculate the total amps for conductor and protection selection. And Draft Logic Electrical automatically calculates all this, including selecting our feeder, bus, and protection, and advising us what the feeder length is. In all calculations for branch circuit wiring and for distribution feeders, voltage drop is fully accommodated for, as are other factors like ambient temperature and the effects that the heat of multiple conductors in the same conduit have. A single line diagram has been completely automatically generated, as were all the other reports that we're looking at. The single line has our main service with its length, whether there's a bond or ground, the conduit and conductors, the protection type and size, the fault levels calculation, and so on down the power tree, which is what we call our distribution, including branch circuit panels. Transformers are shown on the single line as are large motors, in addition to distribution devices and branch circuit panels. Here we see our MCC with all the motors connected to it. We have a wattage per square foot report advising the wattage per square foot for each room and then a total for the floor and the project. And finally we have a motor schedule which the user can specify to be a motor and heater schedule or a motor schedule on its own. The motor schedule discloses all the information about the motors, heaters, their feeders, and any remarks that the user included on those blocks. Now that you've seen a quick overview of the high points of DraftLogic Electrical, automated placement, automated circuiting, automated branch circuit wiring, and automated schedule and floor plan generation, please give us a call for further information. Review the information on our website www.draftlogic.com or watch the more in-depth high definition 32 minute video available on our YouTube page. Thanks for your time.